Well, hello. It's, uh, it's been a while since you've seen me. Well, you can't see me right now. My camera's broken, so listen to my voice. Here it is. Uh, it has been a while since I've done anything on the Tran Dash Y channel. Um, if you saw the now private video titled 21.mp4, or I am now 21, full stop, um, yeah, I decided to take a little bit of a break from Tran Dash Y. Instead, I've been mostly focusing over on my other channel, Firestorm, which I have, uh, which I create content on with Silverstorm, uh, Gus. He's a really good guy. We've been doing a lot of uh, work together on the Firestorm channel, and uh, it used to be just called the Firestorm Podcast. But since we're doing a lot more than just podcasts now, uh, we've decided decided to rebrand it as Firestorm. It's uh, going well, surprisingly. This seems to happen. This isn't the first time I've taken a hiatus, although this is the biggest hiatus I've ever, like, taken. Um, I keep gaining subscribers when I don't upload anything. So if I get a massive drop in subscribers after people actually realize I'm making content again, uh, I won't be surprised. Anyway, I am back, um, but I cannot guarantee, uh, my permanence on YouTube anymore because a lot has happened since it's been like seven months i believe something like that um the last video you'll see on my channel is chapter 10 of the protective volume 1 audiobook which premiered the 8th of july 2020 um that is the last thing i'll have uploaded uh and so yeah it's, it's been it's been quite a while um a lot of things have happened in the past couple of months uh covid started to calm down a little bit at least in Australia, I've decided to focus heavily on Firestorm with Gus. We've done quite a lot of uh, videos, podcasts, and uh, Let's Plays. Um, we've recently concluded uh, and completed The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, so that has been one of my... Uh, it's my first experience with The Legend of Zelda, and I have tremendously enjoyed that game, and we are currently still in the process of recording Skyward Sword, and it is being uploaded. Um, we're also doing another series that's 18 plus, wink wink, uh, check it out if you're interested. Um, and yeah, I, I'm gonna promote the Twilight Princess, uh, playlist, please check that out, it was a lot of fun, and it was a great story to witness. Uh, Gus played it, I just did the voices of Midna and voices of other characters and added my own dumb commentary. Um, yeah, so... In regards to the future of Tran the Dash Y, as you can probably see, I've got new artwork. This was done by someone that I've been working with for a long time on Twitter. He is known as Pescu, or at Wicked under Dash Pescu. He uh, worked with me on my first iteration of my book, uh, The Protective Volume 1. He did the like the character artwork for Zayn and Yulia, and he did do the uh, now lost artwork for Adora and Rosa. There is even a video of him, uh, a time lapse video of him drawing Rosa on my channel. Um, Pescu has been a really good guy, and I've been working with him for a while and decided, like, I've gone, I've flip flopped between artists uh, deciding who I want to go with. Um, and Pescu, he's just been the most consistent and the most, like, I don't know, like, the most reasonable in regards to art and pricing and everything. So I've decided to work with him from now on. I might get, if I do get another book out, which I do intend to do, I might get another artist just for the cover, and that's about it. I don't know. Or I might use Pescu. It's hard to not just praise him. He has done such fantastic work, and I intend to use a lot more of his art from now on. I've got a big commission list for a lot of different things, including book-related stuff. Um, so yes, uh, Pescu is my album, uh, not my album artist, sorry, my uh, YouTube icon artist, my character artist. And, um, yeah, please check Pescu out. As well, uh, a new logo! Holy shit! It's like that please don't oversimplify my logo meme, but I think it's improved? I don't know. The original Trend Dash Y logo was kind of done, I did it on my iPad back when Adobe either legally or illegally had an Apple app for their Photoshop program. Anyway, I, I kind of just got one of their military fonts and then, like, altered it and made the Trend Dash Y logo. So, yeah, I've now got another logo, uh, for, a new logo for Trying to Dash Y, which I'll be using, which was created by Joshua J. Piedra, the 
original English light novel author himself, the one who we've had as a guest on the Fast On podcast, and a guy who I've been in contact and working with for a while now. He has developed essentially all of my logos. Um, <laughs> he's done fantastic work, and he's. I feel like Pescu and JJ are going to be now like my permanent go tos for either character art or um, icon, like logo art. Because I'll show you what else JJ has done. Um, if you haven't been following me on Twitter, which I highly recommend you do, at TrendJM27, please follow me on Twitter there. Um, I got rid of my author accounts, so they're no longer a thing. I'm just on TrendJM27. Um, if you've seen a few of my older posts, he has done all of the logos for my books, which they're not complete, they're nowhere near complete, but I know the direction I'm taking them, and I am writing them. So, The Protector, the relaunch of The Protector, which is now going to be a novel, uh, that is there. The logo looks phenomenal. I did a little bit of editing with the uh, the Japanese kan- I believe it's the kanji, yeah, for Protect. And Trials of Blood Vengeance, the multiple choice story, which is going to be very complicated to write, but something I'm very, very passionate about. So... And as well, he did the logo art for the Firestorm podcast, or as we've just edited it now, just Firestorm. And as well, this logo, which is going to be used to represent all of my author endeavors. It's essentially my initials, but spliced together. I kind of always wanted a logo like this just for my author stuff. So yes, that's going to be used to represent me when I do get to publishing my next book. That's not the only updates, however. Um... I have now begun university. I am now in uni, and that means I cannot... I I essentially cannot commit myself to anything else but uni. I still work multiple days a week. I still get work on the weekends. I still try to catch up with friends here and there. I'm trying to better myself health-wise and have a more consistent, like, healthier diet. Go to the gym more, although that has proven to be difficult as well because of, like study and all that like in fact right now i should just be reading i need to just sit my ass down read and study um but i've wanted to make this video for a little bit since i got the new logo and artwork so i'm gonna do it now um in regards to the future again i keep uh i keep sideballing this actually the, uh, the answer to this question what is the future for trying dash why well i still want to make content that is without a doubt uh a majority of the content like Random Let's Plays and stuff like that, Gus and I are looking to continue on the Firestorm, well, I was going to say the Firestorm podcast, on Firestorm. We're looking to continue with Let's Plays, we have a few others lined up, like, I want to do something like maybe Yakuza Zero, or something over there, like, I'm really happy with Trent Plays, the series I have on this channel, where I basically just summarise a game, or summarise, like, my feelings of a game while playing parts of it, or play through the whole thing, like I did with Delta in Chapter 1. And I want to continue that. Uh, in regards to what games I'll do for Trent Plays, I know Deltarune Chapter 2 is something I want to do. Perhaps the sequel for Doki Doki Literature Club, whenever that comes out, because it's meant to be something that's completely the opposite of a visual novel, or as far as I've heard, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what else I want to do on Trailer Dash Y? I want to read and review other books. I had a whole list, I don't know where the list has gone, of like 50 books some of them are sitting on my shelves that I have just not read yet, or perhaps like an entire manga series that I have not read yet, but like I've got two on my shelf, and I finished them, but I want to reread them. So it's kind of like, I could do a book review series perhaps, and give my thoughts on that, because I am quite happy doing reviews. They are pop- they do- uh, reviews are some of my most popular things, and I love doing them, because I love giving my thoughts and opinions. I can be rather cynical, I can be rather critical on things, but like, uh, some people have told me that's a bad thing, but in my opinion, like, it's good to have an open mind and give opinions, especially if you are familiar with what you're giving an opinion about. Sorry, there's a motorbike going past. But, um, I, I do feel, I don't exactly feel qualified, but I feel like anyone can take anything from opinions, whether that be good or bad. Like, Anyone can give an opinion and a review on something if they're just not be if they're not a dick about it. Like an honest opinion is always handy to have. 
As well, I want to continue Amazing Online Artists. I deleted one of the episodes, I believe it was based on Rachi, as it just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like it fit the mold with the other episodes. And after I did that, I realized, oh wait, I've done 10 episodes now of Amazing Online Artists. I want to do like a season one recap. That's why I've titled the playlist season one. I want to do a recap of all the artists I did Amazing Online Artists about and uh, perhaps update my top 10 or top 5 lists of the, my favorite songs from them and then get on to season 2 which I will then decide who I want to create season 2 around and who I want to talk about in the future. Perhaps more uh, Tekken videos. Tekken 7 has been kind of something that's been off and on for me. Um, I know a lot of people enjoyed my like uh, DLC reviews and all the new characters and such. They are releasing more characters. Season 4 is happening soon. I kind of want- I had this idea which I floated by Gus but we've decided to not go ahead with on Firestorm. I want to kind of like go back to some anime that I really enjoy and basically just watch the whole thing and break down my opinions of the shows week um, like season by season. The first one I had in mind was Sword Art Online because I haven't like kept up to date with Sword Art Online. I watched the first two seasons and I haven't seen the movie and I haven't seen Alakazization or War of the Underworld and I've been told mixed things about both or all of them so I kind of want to go in it blind. I know like kind of what happens but it's hard to really gauge it without properly watching it so i've had a lot of ideas floating by and as well um now that i've got a nintendo switch i feel like it'll be a lot easier to do things like trend plays and videos like that and i've got other recording software but i know i'll need to upgrade my computer eventually another idea i had was just because i've got so many games on my shelves which i've only half completed or barely finished I kind of wanted to get into Twitch. I've got a few friends that have been doing Twitch for a while now, and I just wanted to just go on to Twitch and just give me a reason to sit down and play all of these games. A, a lot of the time recently, I feel like unless I'm doing something productive which could further myself like in some manner apart from just reading, like that's why I kind of want to review books and I kind of want to play games for an audience rather than just reading books for myself and playing games for myself if that does that does kind of sound bad I, I get it but I feel like I need to do something a little bit more productive than just reading or just playing a game and it is perhaps a weird way to look at things but that's kind of just how I feel so that that's another idea floating around but I know it will be a bit before I get there as well I'm going to remake one or two of the videos I've made previously um, the my history with Yu-Gi-Oh video I definitely want to remake and edit better now that I have better, like, audio editing skills, now that I've actually had a lot of practice thanks to the audiobook and from editing uh, the F Firestorm episodes, um, as well with the audiobook, I had this idea in my head of perhaps, um, like, I don't know, remastering the whole thing as one giant audiobook, for that would go for like, what was it, two and a half, three hours, but another part of me feels like that's bit of a waste of time because it the audiobook was decent enough it got a decent enough uh um, decent enough attention brought to it but then it kind of like faltered also uh, if anyone's curious the reason why there's like map there was mass dislikes on quite a lot of the episodes of my audiobook as well as the uh 21 video which is now private it will probably be deleted I have discovered the reason for that it was an old friend uh who was kind of in a bad place and was a bit upset that because we were, we weren't really in a good place uh, with us being mates. A lot of things had happened, and um, he was apparently I believe he was a bit upset about I wasn't I didn't invite him to my twenty first birthday he, after all the history we've had together, and um, he was in a group of disc in a Discord group that were a bit a bit cynical, a bit like. I don't know, a bit mean, essentially, and he, whether it was himself or whether it was something else, he, he kind of, like, he didn't really incite it, but they took it upon themselves to, like, dislike my videos and all that, and th this isn't the reason why I took a hiatus, I've taken a hiatus for a different reason, but a lot of those, well, I got, I received many, many comments on my audiobook and the 21 video telling me to kill myself, telling me 
to stop what I'm doing, telling me to quit. And uh, yeah, that was rather disheartening. Um, a friend that I, we've patched things over, he explained that he was in a bad place. He didn't intend to incite anything, it was just the way the chips fell, and I think it was still a terrible thing. He has apologised, he's uh, looked to made amends, and I will accept it for now. I believe that we've been friends for years, and I believe that the future will be bright so long as we stay on equal grounds, and we just treat each other with respect, and I believe that will happen. I know he does every so often go back and watch a few of the older videos. Um, he has featured on this channel before and he is a good guy. And a lot of people on this channel, a lot of people, a lot of videos I've made in the past are honestly still fantastic in my eyes despite poor quality of editing or anything else. And I am proud of what I've done on Trying to Dash Y. But in the future, I'm looking to create more professional videos. I've stated before on the Firestorm podcast, uh, in like a traveling episode, I believe, that I've wanted to travel to Japan almost kind of like with a mini film crew, kind of like with one person recording the experiences and myself learning about culture in Japan, learning about the culture of it, learning about the history of where I visit, and just doing as much as I can in Japan and making it into something making like a little documentary series or making something about Japan and my feelings towards it because if you find it it's going to be hard to believe I care a lot more about the history of Japan more so than just anime and manga I actually have a little bit of a connection to it in other ways as well so I do want to create something like that I have friends over in Japan who said they've I got one friend as well um, Midori who said she's been more than happy to show me around Tokyo if I ever were to visit, so that is something I do intend to do as well. Uh, of course, with uh, COVID restrictions, with uh, university starting, and with me not having a lot of money, that would be difficult, but, you know, the future is bright for everyone, so I'm hoping in the next few years I can make that happen. But for now, uh, this is kind of where I'm at. I am still looking to do a lot of self-improvement. I'm still looking to embed myself in many ways. I'm looking to create content, not only on Firestorm, that we we schedule content months in advance. We've got a lot of videos prepared on Firestorm. Uh, Gus and I are both very passionate about it. And as well, I'm very passionate about keeping what I love going. And Try the Dash Y is a channel and a community that I love. So I really hope I can keep this going. I really hope I can have your support on this as well. So thank you all so much for watching, guys. I cannot tell you when the next video will be. I have plans. I have ideas. That's all I can really confirm for you. So we'll see what the future holds for us, for Firestorm, um, for myself at university, um, and for content on this channel. But I hope you stick around. I hope people that have subscribed, probably because of, I think it is my uh, tutorial of uh, Serana and Ayala, that video just keeps getting random like thousand view spikes every few weeks, so I feel like that and a mixture of that and Firestorm is gaining me more subscribers. So if you subscribe from there, and this is the first time seeing a new video of mine, I really hope you stick around, and I really hope you stay for the future of Trout and the Dash Y. So, Thank you all so much for watching or listening in this case, and I'll see you down the road.